All right, we have a nice pike here that I filleted. I'm gonna show you guys how to take the Y bones out. Pretty simple. I start off just flaying them like a regular fish. Some guys like to cut the ribs off with the fillet. I uh, I like to just flay around them. Keeps the uh, keeps the fillet a little bit cleaner. Get this guy off the table. And the way I like to do this, the uh, the meat never really even touches the cutting board. It goes from the uh, on the skin to your uh, bowl of water or wherever you're putting your fillet. So I refer to the thick part of the fillet as the shoulder. I cut that part off first. You can see as you're looking down the uh, down the fillet. Here's the lateral line, the center of the fish, and then above the lateral line. You're going to see all these little white dots right there, about a quarter inch above the lateral line. Those are all the, uh, that's the Y bones. So I start off cutting above those white dots. So I got the shoulder of the fish up here, bottom of the fish here. I'm cutting on the top side of all these little white dots. And you just cut right next to them. You can actually... Kind of hear your knife ticking against these Y bones. So I just follow those down all the way to the end of the fillet. So my knife really can't, I'm not really pushing hard to cut through them, but you can kind of see my knife is just ticking against those bones. So once I get to that point, I turn my knife and just flay the uh, the top of the shoulder right off keeping my knife kind of pressed down on those bones Kind of keep doing that just all the way along down uh, down towards the tail. So here's your uh, here's your top side right here. That's all boneless. Probably could have gone a little bit further down towards the tail, but that's all right. It'll be just fine. So now I'm gonna go in right on my lateral line, right here, center of the fish, right down there. I'm gonna take my knife. Go in just a basically as I go in, I kind of go in at an angle like this. Turn the knife, and now I'm flaying those Y bones out on the bottom side. Down just a hair, turn your knife, and fillet up towards the top where the shoulder was. Once you get down into like this part of the tail, the Y bones pretty much end anyways. So ending it where I did, it's going to work out just fine. Here's the end of the Y bones right there. Here's all your Y bones. 
this whole stretch here is completely boneless. I'm gonna turn that. Let's see. Junk. The lefty, so kind of uh, kind of tricky. Probably hold the play. Now I just flay it off the skin and it goes from here into my uh, bowl of clean water. This is your boneless pike flay. That's how it's done.